Hello. I am the storyteller. And today we will talk about Seville. Seville is a big tourist center in Spain. In 2018, there were over 2.5 million travelers and tourists who stayed at a tourist accommodation, placing it third in Spain after Madrid and Barcelona. The city has an overall low level of seasonality, so there are tourists year-round. There are many landmarks, museums, parks, gardens and other kinds of tourist spots around the city so there is something for everyone. The Alcazar, the Cathedral, and the Archivo General de Indias are UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The St. Mary of the Sea Cathedral was built from 1401 to 1519 after the Reconquista on the former site of the city's mosque. La Giralda is a tower attached to the cathedral that dates back to the 12th century. It was originally built as part of a mosque when the Moors ruled in Spain and was later added onto by the Christians. The overall tower construction is consistent with Roman lighthouse construction methods such as with the Tower of Hercules built on the northwest coast of Spain. La Giralda gets its name from the weather vane attached to the very top of it, as here it means turning one in the Spanish language. The redevelopment was started in 1181 and continued for over 500 years, mainly in the Mudéjar style, but also in the Renaissance style. The Torre del Oro was built as a watchtower and defensive barrier on the river. The city hall was built in the 16th century in high plateresque style by master architect Diego de Riaño. The Facade de Plaza Nueva was built in the 19th century in neoclassical style. It is one of the most emblematic buildings of Baroque architecture, mainly to its world-renowned Chirigueresque principal facade and the impressive chapel. The Royal Tobacco Factory is housed on the original site of the first tobacco factory in Europe, a vast 18th-century building in Baroque style and the purported inspiration for the Opera Carmen. The Metropole Parasol, in La Encarnacion Square, is the world's largest wooden structure. A monumental umbrella-like building designed by the German architect Jürgen Meyer, finished in 2011. This modern architecture structure houses the central market and an underground archaeological complex. The terrace roof is a city viewpoint. The building itself, an unusually serene and Italianate example of Spanish Renaissance architecture, was designed by Juan de Herrera. The Plaza de España in the Parque de María Luisa was built by the architect Aníbal González for the 1929 Exposición Iberoamericana. There are several Moorish elements, some of which include remains of former important civilian mosques currently being part of churches in the city, also in museums. On the other hand, La Macarena neighborhood is located on the northern side of the city center. It contains some important monuments and religious buildings, such as the Museum and Catholic Church of La Macarena or the Hospital de Los Cinco Yagas. The most important art collection of Seville is the Museum of Fine Arts of Seville. It was established in 1835 in the former convent of La Merced. It holds many masterworks by Murillo, Pacheco, Cerberon, Valdez Leal, and others masters of the Baroque Civilian School, containing also Flemish paintings of the 15th and 16th centuries. Other museums in Seville are, the Archaeological Museum, which contains collections from the Tartessian, Roman and some of Amahad and Christian periods, located in America Square at the Parque de Maria Luisa. The Museum of Arts and Traditions, also in America Square, in front of the Archaeological Museum. The Andalusian Contemporary Art Center, situated in the neighborhood of La Cartuja. The Naval Museum, housed in the Golden Torre del Oro, next to the River Guadalquivir. The Carriages Museum, in the Los Remedios neighborhood. The Flamenco Art Museum The Bullfighting Museum, in the La Maestranza Bullring the Palace of the Countess of Labria, a private collection that contains many of the mosaic floors discovered in the nearby Roman town of Italica. The Centro Velasca is located at the Old Priest's Hospital in the touristic Santa Cruz neighborhood. The Antiquarium in Metropole Parasol, an underground museum which is composed of the most important archaeological site of the ancient Roman stage of Seville and remains preserved. The Castillo de San Jorge is situated near the Triana Market, next to the Isabel II Bridge. It was the last seat for the Spanish Inquisition. The Museum and Treasure of La Macarena, where the collection of the Macarena Brotherhood is exhibited. This exhibition gives visitors an accurate impression of Seville's Seville Holy Week. La Casa de la Ciencia, a science center and museum opposite the Maria Luisa Park. Museum of Pottery in Triana. Pabellón de la Navigación, the Parque de Maria Luisa, is a monumental park built for the 1929 World's Fair held in Seville, the Exposición Iberoamericana. The so-called Jardines de las Delicias, closer to the river, are part of the Parque de Maria Luisa. The Alcazar Gardens, within the grounds of the Alcazar Palace, consist of several sectors developed in different historical styles. The Gardens of Murillo and the Gardens of Catalina de Ribera, both along and outside the south wall of the Alcazar, lie next to the Santa Cruz Quarter. The Parque del Alamillo y San Geronimo, 
the largest park in Andalusia, was originally built for Seville Expo 92 to reproduce the Andalusian native flora. It lines both Guadalquivir shores around the San Jerónimo meander. The 32 meters high bronze sculpture, The Birth of a New Man, by the Georgian sculptor Zurab Saratelli, is located in its northwestern sector. The American Garden, also completed for Expo 92, is in La Cartuja. It is a public botanical garden, with a representative collection of American plants donated by different countries on the occasion of the World Exposition. Despite its extraordinary botanical value, it remains a mostly abandoned place.